Okay, so the each share has increased by two and seven eighths of a dollar, right? Two dollars and seven eighths. Um, so a thousand shares has increased by how much, right? So that's what we're trying to figure out. So we so each share increases by two dollars and seven eighths. So if I multiply that by a thousand, that would be the increase um, overall, right? So that's what we've got to do. We've got to go two and seven eighths times a thousand, right? So so we're essentially multiplying two fractions. One thousand is a thousand over one. And two and seven eighths can be turned into um, a mixed number. So eight times two is 16. 16 plus seven is 23. So we've got 23 over eight, right? And we're multiplying fractions. Before we multiply, we can cross cancel. Eight into eight, or four into eight goes twice. Four into 10 goes two times, remainder two. Four into 20 goes five times. And four into zero goes zero times, right? And now we can cross cancel again. Two into one goes, two into two goes once. Two into two goes once, two into five goes two times, remainder one. Two into 10 goes five times. So we have 23 over one times 125 over one. So that's just 23 times 125, right? So we can do that. Three fives is 15, carry one. 3, 2 is a 6, and 1 is 7. 3 times 1 is 3, put down the 0. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2, and then add. Okay, so we get 2,875, all right? So that's the amount the shares have increased. So... I mean, that's one way of doing it, so to speak, or looking at it. But there's other ways. I mean, so, so you know, we, you could have said, um, you could have come about it different ways. So, so the shares, the general mill shares went from six and one half to, uh, so, sorry, 60, uh, 60 and a half to 63 and three eighths. Um, so, I mean, you could go, if you really want to, 60 and a half times 1,000 to figure out what um, they were then. And if you work this out, it'll be like, well, I can do it this way. 60 times 1,000 is 60,000. And a half times 1,000 is 500, right? So this will actually be 60,500. And I could then multiply 63 and 3 eighths, oh, 63 and 3 eighths um, multiplied by, um, I need some white out, 63 and 3 eighths multiplied by 1,000, there it is. So that multiplied by 1,000. Okay, so that'll be, you know, 63,000 and 3 eighths times 1,000. You'll find that that is um, 375. So anyway, you could multiply those. You'll find that 63375, and then you could subtract, right? Uh, so there's another way, and you'll get the same thing. 5, 7, 13 minus 5 is 8. And, and then that becomes a 2. 2 minus that is, uh, is a 2, right? So, so that's another way to come, to come about the same, the same thing. Um, so how else can we do it? Well, maybe a few other ways, but, but, uh, but yeah. So the answer is the increase. So, so essentially what, what it's saying is that you started with $60,500 worth of um, General Mills shares, and then you ended up with uh, 63,375 
dollars worth of those shares and then when you subtract them that's the the increased amount right but of course you could have just done it this way the it, it increased by two and seven eighths and then so my thousand shares the value of my thousand shares increased by two thousand eight hundred seventy five 